So hello everyone, I welcome you all to the session of Integrated Topics of Nabad Gate A. Uh, today we have with us the newly selected Nabad Gate A officer, Mr. Himanshu Yadav, who has recently cleared this Nabad Gate A exam and that to him is very first to them. So I welcome you Himanshu to the session. Uh, thank you very much ma'am for your wishes. I look forward uh, to this session. Okay, so uh, Himanshu, has, it's been a long time since the result has been declared. So has the feeling sink in now? Uh, sorry, ma'am, I couldn't listen to you. Uh, I was asking, you were asking that, uh, uh, it's, yeah, yeah, has okay, the feeling uh, sink in like yeah. yeah, it has been great. Uh, I've joined NABAD, I'm in Department of Supervision there. So I'm enjoying it a lot. There, there has been a lot of work going on. So I'm enjoying the part. Okay, okay great. So Himanshu, let's start with your uh, background first. Please tell the students about your educational background and how did you start preparing for the NABAD exam? Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, first of all, I, I did I, I did my graduation in uh, in 2017 from IIT Roorkee in physics, and later on I started preparing for civil services. So, uh, in 2021, uh, this was my first attempt in NABAD. Earlier, I was preparing for civil services, but I I had mixed results. Like I cleared pre prelims, but could not go through main. So. So uh, there, then I got selected in Nabad, and that is it. Okay, and Himanshu, when uh, uh, you started thinking that you have to prepare for Nabad now, like why only Nabad, why not other government exams? Uh, uh, first of all, ma'am, uh, I come from a rural background. My father is himself an agriculturist. So uh, I had an interest toward agriculture. Rural development, so the career growth would, would be there. Other, other advantages would be there. So that is why. Okay, I mentioned your voice is lagging, but I guess uh, we have some internet connectivity issues for the outside. When you were speaking, it's lagging actually. Your voice is lagging. Okay. Uh, so could you could you please hold the meeting for a time? Yeah. Okay, so I was asking like uh, uh, why you have started preparing for NABAD as early as you were preparing for the UPSC examination. So why you chose only NABAD only? So can you please tell? Uh, Ma'am, as I already told, ki, uh, like I came from a rural background. I knew about the functions of NABAD, how it provides finance, refinance to cooperatives, how it engages with SHG, JLGs and <clears throat> farmer producer organizations. So it contributed to rural development earlier uh, for civil services also. I wanted to contribute to the development of the country and be part of the success story of our country. So uh, things will be same in Nabad also. So that is why I chose Nabad. Okay. And earlier you told me that you were preparing for as UPSC. So were you working somewhere uh, during that time or you just preparing for this exam only? Uh, no, ma'am. I was not working anywhere. I was just focusing so on my exams. You were full time uh, giving your preparation. Uh, you -time yes, ma'am. Full time I was dedicated to my exams. Mm -hmm. okay. So, how many uh, hours of study you used to devote on a daily basis? If I talk about the part. Uh, ma'am. Uh, Usually, ma'am, when I started preparing, it was a bit on a higher side, like eight, eight hours. But later on, when I when I got acquainted with syllabus, I knew how how things could be done. Then I reduced my time and I started playing so that I I become energetic and I increased my efficiency later on. Like I reduced the number of hours to I used to study for five six hours a day and play two two three hours badminton. So that that was my whole day. But I did not spend too much time on social media and or Telegram. I used to look at Telegram, but not Facebook, uh, YouTube. I did not used to see these things. Only for like uh, government websites, these are things I focused on. Okay, got it. And how did you keep yourself motivated during your preparation journey? Like, it was just uh, starting to get so you must have some, like, uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Sometimes when you when you when you fail, things become difficult. Then you start doubting yourself. So friends and family they come to support you. So that was uh, I had my friend. I have my friend, friends. Two three close friends are there who keep me motivated. And family support 
was also important is also important so so they keep pushing you that uh, you have uh, yes ki you can do these things or so things can be done if you stay motivated like uh, what i think ma'am fear should not be there uh, i see look, i i myself uh, was doubt, doubting myself ki i get kabhi kabhi dar lagne lag jata tha ki hoga nahi hoga and you wake up with fear and then it 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 eats your instinct because in exam sometimes you have to make choices when you are fearful you cannot make uh, right choices but when you are fearless you can uh, take good attempts on question which you are not sure of so ye tha ma'am yeah absolutely must have confidence in yourself that you can do it so it will definitely ah. that's the portuguese very follow Yes, ma'am. Or ma'am, exam bhi phases me hota hai. Phase one, phase two, and interview. So uh, when you clear stages, you yourself become confident ki ha ho jayega. Thoda aur better karta hu. Thoda improve karta hu. Twenty five aaya to thirty ka try karta hu. Ye strategy yeah. hai. So. Okay. So now let's move on to the phase one strategy of yours. Yeah. As you know that. Recently, the Navarsa levels has changed. The pattern has changed, and there are two sections in phase one. The first one is qualifying, and the second one is right section. So, yes. uh, what was your approach regarding the qualifying section? How much you have to study for the qualifying section? If I talk about quant, reasoning, uh, and the other qualifying yes, ones. Yes, ma'am. Uh, for qualifying section, I did not specifically studied any sources, but I looked at the syllabus and the type of question. One, one, two, two, two problem. I looked at percentages. I did not look at decision making, but uh, reasoning I used to solve two three puzzles, and then I thought that ये वाला section तो हो जाएगा इसमें इतना problem नहीं है just जो जहाँ पर आपका merit बनता है वो section पे थोड़ा focus ज़्यादा करिए तो मैंने उस पे ज़्यादा किया qualifying पे ज़्यादा focus नहीं किया क्योंकि cut offs भी कम ही रहती है last year के trends देखे थे easily आप thirty forty percent marks पे qualify कर लेते हैं तो इतना प्रॉब्लमेटिक नहीं था ये वाला पार्ट मेरे लिए। ओके मंचू आप प्लीज थोड़ा इंग्लिश में कम्युनिकेट कीजिए बिकॉज़ हमारी कुछ स्टूडेंट्स हैं जिनको हिंदी समझ में नहीं आएगी। हाँ हाँ शॉर्ट शॉर्ट शॉर्ट। आया शॉर्ट शॉर्ट। यस सर। सो मंचू इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दी रिसेंटली आई डिड लेव ऑफ uh ma'am uh, i did not prepare for decision making but when i looked at question there then and there at examination hall then i uh, thought ki if you think rationally ki uh, like look at the option like a cannot be the option uh, you start eliminating uh, you don't choose any option you start eliminate ki this cannot be the option this cannot when you arrive at a right answer so i would i would suggest ki just go by your instincts in decision making decision making is all about decision making so most of the times you will be arriving at a right decision if you follow your instincts so instincts are a better force but now you have seen uh, like question we have seen the question so according to that we can prepare now that part also that can be done and we can see cut off was around 1.5 or 2 marks so it is very easy if you attempt three four question surely you will get one or two question oh. questions correct because uh, one or two options were very vague you, you cannot do while on sleep you will not get those questions wrong those very easy questions were there so that was uh, my strategy man then and there i looked ki uh, ye to nahi ho sakta to usse ho gaya tha okay okay i'll just uh, and you want to if like for the qualifying sections quant reasoning and english will basic understanding be enough and just giving the mock test for your practice Or the level of questions is of like banking level questions were asked for quant reasonable English like basic uh, understanding will be enough for this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, basic understanding is enough, but uh, you have to give. Uh, if you are not confident, then you have to give few marks. Otherwise, you, you there might be chance that you might get panic during during exams, or if you uh, get one or two questions wrong, then then this this might create a problem for one so one one should give two mocks should give one one should give two three mocks and he'll get confidence confidence is important so, so i think mocks should be given it should be given a time and then 
once you do you don't need to revise it every every day you can revise it in a week or accordingly you can strategize but firstly that qualifying section should be done it should not be taken lightly So some basic understanding and giving some full and proper test or practice uh, will be fine yes. for the qualifying uh, section. Yes, ma'am, that would suffice. Okay, okay. And what about the if I talk about the merit section, right? Uh, on the basis of which the cutoff will be uh, formed. So if I talk about the GA part first, phase one GA. So what sources uh, to follow for the GA part and what topics to cover, what not to cover? Uh, uh, and uh, if we look at GA part also, the, uh, there are two factual questions are there, so it, it is very difficult to solve all the questions for GA part. And there also, ma'am, uh, cut off is very less in GA part also. So like ten questions are asked, if you are able to solve four or five questions, that is enough. But do not focus too much on GA part. Because ESI, ARD, you can do better in that of studying. But GA part, you are not sure about it. What questions would come? There can be any fact that could uh, you can face in exam. So prepare it for five six months, three four months. Uh, five six months are enough for it. Any any online source you can look for it and just basic. What are the president that got selected or any place that is coming in news or just limited is enough in that. But if you go too much in, if you look at all the budget details, and then we might get confused, and we we there are chances that we will be deviated from our main focus of ESI ARD. So. Okay. Uh, so what about the ESI and ARD current affairs? Like, uh, can you spend, uh, like uh, list down some important ESI current affairs topics that can be prepared for yes, your perspective? Uh. Yes, ma'am. ESI, ARD are very important. So, if we if you re regularly read read newspapers, government uh, bring changes to schemes. So, we should look towards ki why government why they have, like Atal Pension Yojana. I was seeing some videos and people were saying it is very difficult to memorize the facts. Uh, facts like the age limit is there, eighteen to sixty years, eighteen to fifty five years. Uh, I think to memorize rather than memorizing, we should first uh, understand why they have given the age limit first of all. So, being an inquisitive mind, ki why they have put a limit? If if they have not put a limit, then what could be the consequences of it? And then automatically we will understand uh, and we will uh, remember these things. But if we start uh, mindlessly, if we memorize, then it is not possible. There are a lot of schemes are there, a lot of ministries are there. So first of all, we should look. What is the objective of this? If NABARD is there, what is it doing? How is it providing refinance? What are the interest rates? It is at what rates it is providing loans, and how loans are being given to people, and how people are investing in these loans. Then it becomes a cycle, and it is easier for you to learn. So, being an inquisitive mind is a bit helpful in memorizing also. Okay, okay. So, Manju, have you made your own notes for the current affairs part? Uh, yes, ma'am. For last one and a half half years, I have been regularly reading a newspaper, Indian Express, or if I get Hindu, uh, I found Indian Express a bit easier. So, I prepared. I would look towards. Uh, I did not focus much on editorial pages, but I look towards regularly what news are coming. So, I would make notes, specifically agriculture. I made notes. For example, a simple, as simple as fact, I have written that uh, one kg of rice requires two thousand liters of water. It is everywhere helpful. There might be a question of a technology where their government is focusing on reducing the use of water in rice. We have system of rice intensification. So, uh, very sure this question can come in in any exam. So, I think that must be the perspective. And uh, for making notes. Uh, People also think that my notes are so big or very small. So first of all, make notes. Bada bane ka koi problem nahi hai. Aap, when you continuously practice, then, then you get grasp of it, what is need to be written. But first of all, you have to start writing. Otherwise, you will not come to know ki whether you should write or not. Start writing. There will be five pages, six pages. Next time, you will make again uh, from these. It will be reduced to two, three pages. So I think this should be the strategy. Your uh, most were handwritten. Uh, no, ma'am. I made on one note. Uh, yeah. 
if you write on uh, pages ma'am there is a bit difficulty while revising because a lot of sections are there lot of ministries are there lot of reports are there so to uh, so to uh, like cluster them properly you need a proper online one note is very good one note ever note they are very good platforms they are specifically dedicated to these things to organizing it. So we were referring to like as you said that we were writing to newspaper for the current affairs part. So in case if some yeah. update is coming in the newspaper after some time, then it's easy for you to update in uh, like the online uh, method of note making, like one note for every note you will say. Ma'am, ma'am, uh, yes, ma'am. When one is preparing, one is preparing their notes, uh, and they regularly revise it. Whenever and wherever they would see an update, they would automatically come to know that I have written this there. So I need to make changes to it. So it it brings a holistic thing to their preparation. Also, uh, it it gives a little bit of happiness. Also, that I have written these things and it has come here in one mock test. It has come, so I am going in the right direction. Yes, uh, hello. Uh, if I talk about the report, you have to prepare. Uh, yeah, I'm audible. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, uh, Manchu, I was saying that there are so many reports like we have. For this ESI and ARD, so can you tell like what which are some important reports that can be covered, or do we need to cover all the reports that are related to NABARD? And same for the uh, comments. Scheme. No, ma'am. Uh, we cannot do. We have a limitation. We cannot do what is everything under the sun. So we uh, first see uh, there are few important reports are there. Few, few important international organizations are there. National organizations. Suppose financial inclusion report RBI has given. It matters to our country. It matters to our economy. So we should not go through the whole report. Coachings provide a good summary of it, uh, and every report has a bit finding in it. In newspapers, focus on that finding. So we should remember that finding at uh, like major macro view. We should have our things. Ki, uh, India का financial inclusion कहाँ जा रहा है कितना है rather than looking at कि इस state uh, this state has 50 percent this state is 60 percent we should overall we should understand कि there is an interstate diversity in financial inclusion some states are 90 percent some states are 40 percent what are the reasons for this 90 percent what is the reason for this 40 percent this is this is a and who has given the report so these are the things we should focus and then uh, after doing uh, after a certain time we will get acquainted like what is to be studied like national education policy is there ma'am we cannot read whole policy if we start reading it will waste a lot of time but we can look at the findings why the policy was required first of all question like there is prime minister very good uh, speech of our prime minister on national education policy he, where he has highlighted only six, seven things are there. So this should be our perspective. Five, six things, major things, which would bring changes that, that we should focus rather than everything ki bag nahi hoga, char kilo se do kilo weight ho jayega. Itna jada focus nahi karna. Okay, okay. So basically, main findings is important. We have to do this. Uh, yeah. Are the main findings Ma major findings, findings, yes. Or, or and in any report, there will be one or two major findings. If there are too many findings are there, I think uh, report is digressing from its issue because for a specific objective they are doing it, and findings will be smaller in number. So, uh, we have talked a lot about phase one so yeah. let's move on to the phase two strategy of yours so uh, please let us know what are the sources that you follow for your phase two preparation of Nabar. Uh, ma'am uh, when i cleared phase one then uh, i studied from edutabs uh, the complete course is there so i studied from that they they have very good videos of agriculture static videos are there so what happened i had prepared everything but everything was something i've written here something there so there was not Everything was not conducive and conducting thing was missing. So I, when I read from EduTab, then I updated my things. What are the facts which are important? So from EduTab, EduTab's material, I prepared my, uh, updated my notes. So that was beneficial for me. Okay, okay. And in much we talk about ESI static part. 
it, it is said that it's mainly current affairs oriented and static is not that much important so what are your views regarding it is it is it uh, not that important from the exams perspective or do we need to focus on uh, the current affairs part uh, no ma'am ma'am we are too much focused on current affairs and we lose the bigger picture in 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 this what is ma'am what india was what problems india was facing 40 years ago what problem india was fa- facing 10 years ago what india is facing now there is a bit of relationship in these problems so we should think about current affairs uh, just reading current affairs won't suffice we have to think we have to look at the la- bigger picture why why india is ex, ex, uh, like suppose weed ban export is there why why india is banning its exports what is the, would be the consequences of it and if you look at social issues why is still poverty exist in india what are the methodologies through which poverty was calculated and why it is not that ki we directly come to what the rangarajan panel has suggested now. so 40 years pehle hum kyon poverty us method se calculate kar rahe the अगर यही ठीक था तो तो टाइम के हिसाब से मैम चीजें चेंज होती है तो पीछे से भी थोड़ा बैकग्राउंड भी प्रॉब्लम का देखना पड़ेगा वन एंड हाफ इयर्स ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स विद एवरीथिंग व्हाट इज द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ इट एंड व्हाट वुड बी कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस दीज थिंग्स व्हिच वी हैव टू लिंक अदरवाइज वी विल नॉट गेट गुड मार्क्स इन आर वेरी डिस्क्रिप्टिव पार्ट आल्सो वेयर दे विल चेक वेदर यू आर एनालिटिक इन योर रीजनिंग देयर विल बी क्वेश्चंस लाइक what will the face of indian economy in 2050 if you are focusing on just current affairs you can't write but if you know what india was in the past and what in india is present then you can make a linkage what india will be in the future so my idea was that okay understood much everyone should please give me a minute please give me a minute so let me ah, sure sure ma'am sure Yeah. Hello. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, Manchu. Okay, so uh, Manchu, I just wanted to ask you about the descriptive part that has been recently. It's now fifty percent objective and fifty percent subjective now. Yes, okay, ma'am. Right? So, if I talk about first the objective part of ESI and AIRD, so were the questions different or similar to the phase one question that was asked? Ma'am, in phase one, uh, the questions were of different nature. Like they, they will directly, they were directly looking for facts. directly they were asking for objectives but what i have seen in uh, this the second phase they they will give you a comprehension they will give you over overview of the scheme and like for example the ministry of agriculture is there and there are a lot of schemes under it and government has also made different portals for all the schemes so they were been pointing about specific things in phase 2 they were bits more specific about something specific And, portals uh, are there for specific purpose like uh, for pradhan mantri sinchai yojana there are three components in it but if you directly just have a look at ha uh, teen component hai but there are specific portals are there for all the components so you should have a look at uh, look at the website what, what is the name of that portal They, they can ask you this question and also ma'am uh, nabard website is very resourceful in it we should regularly visit the website we should regularly visit us about a page why nabard was formed on what basis uh, what is nabard doing what are its function so uh, and also financial institutions like uh, the rbi act is there we should have a overview of rbi act also banking regulation act is also there there was a question where they asked an amendment of banking regulation act so it was uh, so these they, they talk about they ask specific things very good questions were framed in phase 2 exam okay, okay. so the level is basically different from phase 1 it's not like yes ma'am uh, yes uh, a bit a bit deeper understanding and you get a time 2 3 months uh, like 2 mm-hmm. months are there suppose 
one or two months are there so you can prepare a bit deeper level of understanding okay, okay. and uh, much if i talk about the descriptive part like as you are from the upsc background it's not it will not be as much difficult for you to uh, like write the descriptive answers but uh, actually in the upsc it's basically Really, with pen and paper, you have to write. So you must have started after uh, writing on a uh, keyboard. But what about those students who are not into the habit of writing? How should they start uh, writing for the descriptive uh, part? Uh, Ma'am, I have seen uh, what students uh, do. They they directly they directly look at a topic and then they hit the keyboard and start writing. And then they say, "Ki kuch thoughts nahi aa rahe, kuch nahi aa rahe." So what they miss is they do not make a like a topic is asked like. Five trillion dollar economy by twenty twenty six or twenty twenty five. So we should understand, uh, make a brief overview of it on a page. So we are writing on a keyboard, but we should crystallize our thoughts. Thoughts crystallization missing. We should write on a paper, make a brief background. Uh, what are the points I need to cover? Make a a layout is important. A template should be there. And you will be filling information in that. I followed this strategy. I made a template, and I follow uh, just on keyboard. What I have made a small points were there. I elaborated them. Like uh, introduction is there. What government is doing? Uh, what government is doing to remove the problem? And actually, what is the problem? What are the causes of the problem? What could be the consequences of it? And when government is implementing a scheme, ma'am. There is always a gap. Is there like if we are not we are not successful to that level what we have expected? So there are certain lacunas are there. So we can write later on these lacunas. And then when we have given a problem, it is our duty to give us uh, small simple solutions to it, which should be done. So then and a small way forward with a quotation, it gives a good impression. Overall, you can write three hundred to three fifty words. Uh, like two three lines two three lines on all these uh, also ma'am uh, like before directly writing answers uh, uh, first of all what really helped for me uh, was the this one note pe jo main notes banata tha na ye help karta tha kyunki keyboard pe isko type karna padta tha to usse wo understanding ban jati hai ki what is to be written so wo bhi helpful hai thoda so paper pen aur paper pe bhi karna hai और पेनो पेपर पे उसको करके और उसको फिर कीबोर्ड पे आपको सुपर इम्पोज करना है बस ये रहेगा मैं लाइक फर्स्ट यू हैव सम बेसिक उनका क्या क्या आएगा उसके बाद उसको की बोर्ड उसको कंप्यूटर पे टाइप करेंगे तो फिर वो फिर उसके बाद चेक करेंगे उसको कंटिन्यूसली दिखाएंगे अपने टीचर्स को तो देन दे विल गिव यू फीडबैक एंड दिस इज हाउ द प्रोसेस गोज ऑन आई रिमेंबर लाइक व्हेन वी वर इन कॉलेज देयर वाज अ प्रोफेसर ही यूज्ड टू गिव वेरी लेस मार्क्स एंड वी यूज्ड टू गेट एंग्री की सो तो मार्क्स देते तो सर यूज्ड टू से कि मैं या मार्क्स देने के लिए तुम लिखो तो सही सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट राइटिंग देन आल्सो वी विल कम टू नो अबाउट आवर एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च डायरेक्टर like some uh, government ministry ministry of agriculture secretary is writing so when they are writing they have 30 to 35 years of experience so they write in essay format so this is a good source to study also ma'am uh, the government websites are a very good source so topics are there general topics are there ki financial inclusion agriculture animal husbandry dairy dairy dairying fishing SHGs are there. Lot of things are there. So uh, when we read this material, then we'll come to know a bit more on other topics also. The India's exports are there. Also, for, um, every year there will be questions on uh, innovation and climate change. Climate change is a big problem. So we'll find one one or two question we'll find about the, the climate change part. 
so how can we link it to our agriculture so it is very important So and uh, much let's talk about the descriptive English part of phase two. Sir, right. So as you know that there are different uh, questions related to essay, letter writing, report writing, and all this for us. So what was your approach? Approach? How did you prepare for these topics? Uh, ma'am, I saw for descriptive English, I saw Edutabs videos are there about uh, letter writing. Uh, comprehensive video is there. So they'll tell you format, what is to be written, what is not to be written. This is very good. I followed it and I got good marks also. I got sixty-three marks in English. In Presi, uh, in Presi, ma'am, uh, every uh, like we can read from whatever material is available to us. But but uh, I would give a suggestion that we should focus on title also. Have a good title. And it should be a connecting title. Uh, like we gave a uh, we gave a two words and colon and like India's dream coming becoming a reality. So that के थोड़ा अच्छा सा title देना से अच्छा रहता है प्रेसी में. और ऐसे writing जो ऐसे writing part है वो उससे हो जाएगा. जो descriptive का हम practice करेंगे ना six hundred words वाला वो same similar nature है वो उससे हो जाएगा. But uh, मैम वो platform की आदत होनी चाहिए so Like Adutab has a platform, uh, online platform is yes. there where you you can give mock tests of descriptive. Then you get acquainted things, then you will become comfortable in exam. So practice that also. Okay, and uh, what was your order of attempt for the descriptive English part? Like first you attempted uh, the reading comprehension test, the letter writing. What was your order of attempt? Uh, ma'am, first of all. Uh, Uh, first of all, I attempted this uh, letter writing. It is very smaller, and you can quickly do it. So, uh, not much thinking is required in it. So, I did letter writing. Then, uh, essay I did uh, at the last when essay was there. So, I did less than then I attempted pressy, and I think RC was also there. Yes. So, it did not take much time. I think most uh, like. most time taking thing is this pressy because you have to continuously toggle upar dekhna padega fir kuch bhul jayenge fir usko wapas refer karna padega so pressy pe focus karna karna padta hai acche se pressy mein aap marks score kar sakte ho acche se uski practice karke online mein practice kariye uski pressy ki okay so basically aapne pehle wo attempt kiye jinme kam time required ha yes uh, yes ma'am otherwise uh, थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाता है कुछ लोग पहले प्रेसिव भी करते हैं पर मैंने नहीं किया थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाता है कि आई हैव अटेम्प्टेड मतलब मेजर पोर्शन आई हैव अटेम्प्टेड जस्ट वन थिंग इज लेफ्ट सो इट कैन बी डन एट द लास्ट बट देयर आर पीपल हु हैव डिफरेंट अप्रोच कि वो पहले सबसे डिफिकल्ट करते हैं तो वो चेक करके आप अपना असरटेन कर लीजिए कि भाई व्हाट इज वर्किंग फॉर देम व्हाट इज नॉट वर्किंग फॉर देम इतना प्रॉब्लम नहीं होता देर इज एनफ टाइम फॉर एवरीथिंग डिस्क्रिप्टिव आल्सो आई थिंक इन ऑब्जेक्टिव वन विल बी लैकिंग इन टाइम अदरवाइज देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग ओके सो मैं शुरू अभी तो लॉट ऑफ गुड इनसाइट्स अबाउट फेज 1 एंड फेज 2 सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द लास्ट फेज दैट इज द इंटरव्यू फेज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू व्हाट वाज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ योर इंटरव्यू मैम इंटरव्यू लास्टेड फॉर it was less than 15 minutes i would say okay. it's 12 to 13 minutes okay and is the interview panel not recording oh uh, ma'am very cordial if you say uh, if you say a small thing then they will ask ki ye kaise possible hoga like i said ki uh, ma'am oh, agriculture ke andar mechanization we have to do a lot of mechanization then they said ki man sure agar itna mechanization karenge to इंडिया में तो बहुत लेबर है उसका क्या होगा देन यू यू हैव टू बी स्मार्ट यू कैन जस्ट स्टे साइलेंट कि आई डोंट नो जस्ट ट्राई टू आंसर व्हाट दे आर आस्किंग दे विल आस्क क्वेश्चन व्हाट यू हैव आंसर्ड सो दे आर एक्सपर्ट्स दे दे नो वेरी मच व्हेन व्हेन यू एंटर एंड टॉक फॉर 1 मिनट दे नो अबाउट यू दे दे हैव डिसाइडेड व्हाट यू आर पर्सन सो अ गुड कन्वर्सेशन एंड ऑनेस्ट कन्वर्सेशन व्हाट यू फील अबाउट थिंग्स इज अ गुड थिंग टू से 
and what according to you they are looking for in an ideal candidate from a bar uh mam they are looking for a passionate person who can contribute to nabard who can contribute to india's rural development who can be a part of success story of india they are looking for passion in nabard nabard is a knowledge based organization so we do a lot of pilot projects and then we give uh, these recommendations are being given to government of india and government of india brings them in their policies so we are front runner in this we have to we have to be ready to give inputs whenever we are required to do our service so we should be ready for this so we should be continuously updating our knowledge like what new technologies are coming we have a lot of like drone based uh, agri there is a lot of focus on drone like through drone we can spray in insecticides pesticides so these are the things we should focus okay. innovation is the heart of nabard nabard thrives on its innovation so and uh, much what are the areas to prepare for for the interview i mean first of all we should go through this uh, website of nabard every like every word is there which has a specific purpose like suppose in functions of nabard they have written about supervision and there is a word regulate regulate regulation both of them are different words ma'am supervision is all together different uh, meaning and regulation has a different meaning so these nuances interviewer will focus on these nuances they have served uh, country they have served nabards so they know all these things they have seen lakhs of us so we should be very precise in speaking a word we should be very precise while in in interview when we are reading we should be very precise what we are reading every on a government website every word has a value they give a lot of is little info we see the char panch page hai no they are not four five pages there are very vast information which through a word they have just given a like direction so we should move in that direction uh, also ma'am one thing i forgot to mention uh, nabard makes a lot of you, uh, nabard on youtube channel of nabard Uh, they tell success stories and what projects they have implemented these should be seen by everyone for nabard annual report also they have made very good videos ek man when we are reading we are not sure about what actually things are being done ha paisa de diya paisa chala gaya wo usse nahi hota hai actual mein jo field pe projects hain through websites uh, through these youtube videos we come to know about these things so wo bahut beneficial rahega प्रैक्टिकल इंसाइट रहेगा कि ऐसे जीज हैं वो काम कर रहे हैं उनके साथ हम लोग उनकी हैंड होल्डिंग कर रहे हैं और क्या क्या चीजें हैं तो दीज आर थिंग्स मैम यस मैम आई गेव मॉक इंटरव्यू ऑन एड यू टैप मैंने गेव एन इंटरव्यू नॉट prepared so they told me they they told me these things they they let me write on paper ki isko likho aur padho isko ye kya hai then my eyes got opened and i started studying ki i don't know anything so that was an eye opener for me and that ignited me too for uh, focusing more on interview okay. and and last question i wanted to ask like with the panel and your official interview so uh, the, the questions are more of a technical nature or are they related to your profile i mean mostly they'll focus on your profile whatever you will say they will ask question from that ki okay uh, suppose you are saying ki uh, you come from this background then they will ask question okay if you say you are from this state then they'll ask some few basic questions ki what are the policies of your state government what your government what state government is been doing currently what is their focus so these basic th- basic questions they will ask but we should be very sure about saying a word if you say a word then na- next question if you say a technical word suppose you uh, you speak uh, commodity derivatives definitely there will be a question you should be you should be knowing about commodity derivatives yeah. you cannot throw anything at them they are very particular about this ki candidate should know what is speaking 